the center's final top 10 community creature vote from giant lobsters to killer whales. That's right survivors, I'm GP bringing you the latest ARK news. The center is ARK's first ever official mod map, a long forgotten map but a loved map by many and it's finally getting its turn for the creature vote, indicating that this map will be releasing between Aberration and Extinction in early 2024. Final round of voting which commenced on Monday the 14th of August runs until Monday the 21st, with the winner to be announced on Friday the 25th in the Community Crunch. These are the final 10 creatures with a very brief description to give you an idea of what you are voting for. First up is the Shastasaurus, a huge ocean dweller rivaling the size of the Leeds. With an underwater saddle acting as a submarine where survivors and creatures can travel without loss of oxygen and even the ability to build inside it along with special torpedoes dealing heavy damage. Upon surfacing, the saddle's dome disappears, transforming it into a whaling ship, whereby you can fire harpoon guns. Next up is the giant hermit crab, with the ability to craft its own shells, and claws of different varieties such as stone, metal, obsidian and crystal with the shells providing varying levels of defense and the claws each having unique abilities based on the shell type. With the crab being a slow swimmer, it can cannonball itself for faster travel on land. And similar to the doid, it can hide in its shell to protect itself, but with the added advantage of the type of shell providing defense abilities against its attackers. Next up is a Nothosaurus, the mobile cooking pot. This creature's body warms up when basking in the sun, triggering an impressive colour change. It has a sack below its throat able to collect and store fish, and the heat of its body generated by the sunlight can boil the water in that sack, providing survivors with an organic cooking pot. The creature's fascinating exterior will glow whenever an alpha or a max level creature is nearby. Next up is the giant lobster, described to match the size of a megalodon, acting as an underwater diadon with healing abilities and can latch onto specific players or creatures to provide super healing. Having a claw attack and the ability to grab opponents, and when grabbed can do a jab attack. The lobster is said to be a bulkier and much more combat version of the Karknos and can climb walls, however can only carry one creature compared to the Karknos. Next up is the Mirasononyx, the fastest creature on the arcs, capable of pulling off some craftily combative tricks such as sparking up some heat and trapping foes in trails of fire and even the ability to run up to a target and quickly slip an active bear trap, grenade or other primed weapon right under their feet. All this along with the ability to autonomously swerve around nearby obstacles such as rocks, trees and creatures as you travel on this high speed mount. Next up is the Bajadasaurus, the only sauropod in the final vote, with the males of the species sporting horns along its neck and back whilst the females have sails. Having a move set that includes a foot stomp, neck sweep and a tail grab attack, the females are said to be fairly passive and less provoked, often due to threats getting too close. Whereas the males are predominantly aggressive and will even fight other wild male Bajadasaurus to inflict injury. Next up is the Thoracopterus, the giant flying fish. It is said to be able to launch itself out of the water with its speed stat determining how high it can go. Once out of the water it can glide and return to the ocean by either doing a dive or a slow parachute. Also having a high speed attack in the water that can propel you distances and also inflict bleed damage on other creatures. Next up is the Hatsagopteryx, your very own flying protector, having a pretty unique rescue mode ability whereby when activated the flyer can be called upon by whistling when you're in distress and the bird will pick you up and place you in its saddle. Also having a thunderclap move that shoots the flyer upwards inflicting damage on anything in its path. 
Next up is the Saivodus, an opportunistic carnivore said to be a remarkable species patrolling the oceans. Also known to be the diadem of the seas, the Saivodus can heal creatures in its radius through different healing techniques based on the type of food it's consuming. Also with a grab attack or a latch attack if the target is bigger. And finally, the killer whale, said to be able to perform an ambush attack along the beach where it can emerge out of the water and grab a nearby flyer or creature along the beach and drag it back into the water. The killer whale is also said to have a echolocation ability that can help it locate nearby cave and deep sea loot crates, potentially increasing the loot quality once found. To vote for your favorites, you need to visit the link that you can find in the description or the pinned comment, which will take you to the Ranked Vote website, where you will see all of the 10 finalists listed in random order. You need to sort all of the creatures in order of your most preferred, with the one you want to win right at the top and the one you least want right at the bottom. Let me know which creature is your favorite. That's all the latest news survivors. If you don't want to miss out on all the latest art news, make sure to subscribe.